the tubeless insulin pump market is heating up. Tandem has a new tubeless pump that is coming. It's in the works and I'm going to tell you everything about it today. In January 2023, Tandem officially acquired a company called AMF Medical that was producing an insulin pump called Siggy. It is a reusable patch pump and there is a lot to say about this thing. They acquired the company for a mere $216 million. Now, the pump was never commercially released, but it did receive breakthrough device designation from the US FDA in the fall of 2021, which means with that process, it is being streamlined through the FDA approvals. Now, there's no word on when that's going to happen, but if it's by any indication, Beta Bionics also received this at the end of 2019 and the pump is out now. A few episodes ago, I talked all about Tandem's new insulin pump that is cleared and coming called Moby. It is the world's smallest insulin pump. So if you want to learn about that, you should check out that video as well as my podcast episode coming out on Monday, which talks all about the insulin pump with Gary Shiner, a diabetes educator. And I've also got a video on Medtronic's insulin pump that is in the works because they're acquiring a company that has a pump called EOFlow. And I talk all about that in another video. But for now, let's get into Siggy. Tandem officially absorbed the company earlier this year, and John Sheridan, the president and CEO of Tandem, said, AMF Medical's compelling technology aligns well with our strategic vision to include a patch pump in Tandem's portfolio of differentiated offerings. In addition to this innovative technology, the talented AMF team joining our Tandem family shares our commitment to simplify diabetes management. So with that 200 16 million absorption. They are getting that company, their employees, and all of that intellectual property for this reusable pump. Now, let me get into what this pump looks like, how it works, and what makes it rechargeable. So everyone who gets this pump eventually will get two pumps, two reusable pumps that can both be charged. So if you're wearing one, it runs out of battery, you put on the other one. They are wirelessly charged. From the video I found online, you can see there's a charger that it fits in perfectly, and then you just put that on once it's fully charged. To me, when it comes to size, it looks like the pod is a bit longer than what an Omnipod is, but it seems to be about the same thickness, or maybe even a little bit thinner. It is a waterproof device, at least from what I've heard from people at Siggy in the past. In order to make these pumps reusable, there is a disposable part, and this is basically a pad that goes onto your skin. So using a disposable applicator, you put that along your skin, you press the button, and it places a pad that also has the cannula that's in your skin, which will deliver the insulin. Then you take that Siggy pod and you put it into the pad and lock it in and it's ready to go. What I think is cool about this system is how eco-friendly the pods are. These are gonna be completely reused over years. Now, there is still the applicator that is disposable and the pads as well. My hope is that with this applicator, since it is pretty basic and mostly a plastic, maybe those can be recycled. I know the Dexcom G6 ones, at least for what I know, they aren't recyclable, but I really hope that this applicator will be. But at least with the pod, those are reusable between the two. When it comes to insulin, it's very unique how it takes it. It uses cartridges of insulin. You may have seen these with smart insulin pens like InPen. These are little bullet-sized insulin vials that go into the InPen and they'll also go into this. You just put them in. In order to put them in, you use the button to twist open the pod, put in the cartridge, put the cap back on and twist it. And the cool thing about these cartridges is that even if you don't finish that cartridge in your first sight, you can take that cartridge, at least from what I've heard, you can take that cartridge and put it into the new pump so no insulin is wasted. When you want to put in more insulin, all you do is take the pod off, 
put in more insulin and put it back onto that pad if there are more days allowed. And when you need more insulin, you just take off the pod, put in a new cartridge, put it back on as long as there's more time on that pad. When it comes to how long this will last, it will definitely last at least three days, but I've heard from Siggy in other interviews that they were working on a seven-day infusion set. And this also tracks with what Tandem's been working on with their other pumps, a seven-day infusion set. So it's very possible that Tandem, as they're working on this pump and trying to bring it to the market, that that is a priority for when it initially releases. It would also be a big incentive over a tubeless pump like Omnipod, which currently only gets 72 hours or three days, plus an extra eight hour grace period. When it comes to insulins, Siggy was using Novolog, Humalog, Leumgev, and Fiosp, so those would most likely be supported when this pump eventually comes out. That's also dependent on the T-Slim algorithm, which is the algorithm that will most likely be used on this pump. Now let's get into the algorithm. So Siggy originally produced this device to be interoperable with any algorithm. They didn't design their own algorithm. And also, they designed it to work with any CGM. So that's great for Tandem. They could put their Control IQ closed loop system onto this device and it already had that support or was working for support for multiple CGMs. The Siggy device was built to hold the algorithm right on it, meaning that even if it is not near your phone, which would be used to control it, it can still regulate and be connected to a CGM because it has onboard memory and it can read its algorithm from there. The pod was developed specifically to work with smartphones and over Bluetooth, which is similar to a lot of other pumps on the market, and it's expected that we will see that here. When it comes to the future of tubeless pumps, the future is very bright. Of course, you've got Omnipod, which they're working on an iPhone app, which will hopefully come out soon and greatly improve that system. Then you've got Medtronic's EOFlow pump. They acquired or are working on acquiring on a South Korean company with their insulin pump, their tubeless insulin pump, which I came out with a video on. You gotta check that out if you haven't seen it. And of course, you've got this pump that's coming from Tandem, hopefully soon, that's Siggy. Along with that, they've got their Moby, the world's smallest insulin pump coming out later this year. But I'm most excited to see where the tubeless market is going because now you have at least three companies in the US working on tubeless pumps, which is going to drive innovation. Also, in my interview with Gary Shiner that comes out on my podcast next week, he was telling me all about another company, an Israeli company that has a reusable tubeless pump that they're getting FDA clearance or rather breakthrough device clearance here in the US and apparently it's somewhat close. I have to learn more about that and I will and I'll probably make a video on it. For more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've got videos coming out every Friday as well as my podcast every Monday on YouTube and all major podcast platforms if you wanna listen to it on your way to work. And as always, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I'm Justin and I'll tech you later.